Hello everyone, welcome back to Sports Cabri and Aaron Foot. Unfortunately, Hiren uh, will most probably not be joining us today. Uh, he's caught up with some stuff outside. But Tarnav and I are here to, of course, predict the lineup. And uh, yeah, that's the agenda for the day, Arnava, which is we're going to try to sort of get into Igor's team match ahead, what the coach is thinking. And we're going to try to put out 11. So yeah, um, looking forward to this. And Arnava, just a day, day away from the game. Um, has the mood changed at all for you? Um, no, to be honest. I mean, I put out a tweet last night, you know, which sort of, I'm not sure, I'm not clear, you know, where do I stand? Uh, uh, you know, where where does it go? And and um, Dinesh says, speak about the press conference. And I'm more confused after the press conference than I was before the press conference. And uh, it's, it's, I don't know what to expect tomorrow. On, to, be, to be very honest, I, I have, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know I, I, I don't have an idea. And, and to me is, uh, 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 yeah, it's, I, I'm hoping for the best, as I always do. But I don't know. I honestly don't know if we are in the position to, to, to take care uh, uh, um, of Afghanistan tomorrow or if we get stuck in a draw or something or maybe we lose. I, I, I really don't know because this this game a few days ago, um, yeah, was, was you said it as well, right? It, it was nothing. So, so therefore, yeah, that's, that's the situation. Interesting words, of course, from the press conference are that Igor Simat says, uh, if we don't go to the third round, he will leave. Anava, do you believe? He said a lot of things in the last few years. So, I don't know. If they have offered him another contract, uh, you know, that's that. So, for me, um, the coach has to decide, uh, you know, what is right for himself, but what is right for Indian football and uh, uh, um, so for me, it's very clear that if if uh, if he stays, then the continues the problems continue, and and there need to be changes in Indian football. So therefore, that for me is very very clear that you know the coach yeah, has to has to go uh, yeah, sooner than later. Rather, I would say, but again, at the moment, it looks rather like later than sooner. I know. Uh, just a question because Igor Stimac saying that I will leave if I don't qualify for. The for round four, for round three, I'm sorry. Does that kind of hint at the fact that the AFF has confidence in him till that period is over? That we probably will not see a change even if we don't get a result against Afghanistan tomorrow? See, that's the that's the worrying part to me. That that the coach sort of is again, there are two or three things hinting there, right? First of all, if we don't qualify, he says he's gonna go. Okay. Now, if the team by chance qualifies, he stays. You know, that's a that to me is a bigger concern, right? Uh, so for for me, that's a that's a very worrying part, and I don't know, I don't know how to take all of this, and uh, uh, you know, and 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 you know, and I, I would have loved if he had for just for once had been honest, and you know, said you know, guys, we didn't do well against Afghanistan away, we try and do it better, blah blah, and again, not talk about these sideshows. It's it's almost become like a TV show now, where we get like episodes and episodes and episodes, and um, every episode has more drama to it. So <clears throat> yeah, this really feels like we're in a Game of Thrones series at the moment. But what can we say? Um, I mean, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, 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 you're saying. Yeah. No, no, for no. me, you're, you're actually right. It's like a, it's like a, you know, an old uh, Bollywood serial or a, or you know, in Spain they call it telenovela, you know, and then uh, every day you don't know what what's going to happen and. It's it's uh, and then you know there's another twist to the story and 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 but it's not taking us forward. That's my concern. You know, if it was taking us forward, okay, we'll we'll football is you know something where you have ups and ups and downs. But uh, yeah, I, I I completely get you. I think, but anyways, we're here to predict the lineup. So let's start in goal, Anwar. Igor Stimach, do you think? So let's get into the mind of the coach. Let's try to predict the eleven from his point of view. I'm sh- I- I'm guessing you don't think uh, Gurpreet is going to get displaced in goal. I don't think so. 
I, 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 if you ask me, uh, Gurpreet will start. Um, and there is, uh, 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 you know, um, therefore Gurpreet Singh Sandhu will, you know, the, the coach will start with him. I don't see him changing anything. What have you made of Gurpreet Anwar in the past few games? He's, he's just, he's probably been one of those players where you can't, who you can't really criticize because he hasn't done much wrong. Is, is there anything that you... I I would say that Australia thing, you know, we can discuss the Asian mm, Cup, yeah. but 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 otherwise, um, the other goals were, you know, um, either errors from his own teammates or they were just good good attempts. Um, so so therefore, from that perspective, you can't say much. And uh, you know, and I don't see a World Cup. You know, the, the the point is, these kind of matches are not there for trial and errors. For that, you have to have used again friendly tournaments, friendly matches. That is where you try and do, and that's where I again go back to last year, Tri Nation Intercontinental Cup. That's where he should have tried out certain players, you know, give Vishal Kate a chance, other strikers a chance. He hasn't done it, and therefore we are in that situation. Therefore, I I don't see much, uh, you know, much changing. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, fair enough. I'm all saying I don't want uh, Igor after the Afghanistan match, but it really looks at the moment like it will not make a difference. It really looks, and it's kind of disheartening, but what it is what it is again. Um, yeah, Gurpreet will most likely start in goal. I don't think there's any conversation to be had about it. Uh, the back four, Anwar. The two central defenders, let's start with them. Um, Anwar Ali and Rahul Beke, any changes there? No. For me, uh, Beke and uh, uh, Anwar start at the heart of defence. So, there will be no changes. I don't see that. Yeah, 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 I think I I completely agree as well. We just don't have any options. We don't have Sana Singh to probably, even if you want to change things, you don't really have that option. Mehtab is probably the only one who can come in. But yeah, these are probably the best two out of the central defenders we have. But uh, there's been some conversation about fullbacks. Uh, Akash Mishra didn't have the best game. Nikhil Pujari put in some good crosses, but he had his own moments as well. So is that something that... You think he goes too much? Is looking at and saying, you know what? I brought this guy Amir Anawade after such a good ISL season. I brought him here. Is this probably the time to get, give him a shot and uh, let's see what he can do? I don't think Nikhil Pujari will be swapped. I think uh, mm-hmm. much will 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 stick with uh, Nikhil Pujari. Uh, I rather think that potentially Subhashish Bose might be playing on as left back. Okay. You know, he okay. brought him on. He brought him on as well against Afghanistan in the first game. So that might be a substitution that could happen. Yeah. yeah. King Loss is also saying uh, Pujari is frustrating worse. But <clears throat> I, I, I understand where you're coming from in the sense that he's not the most clean footballer to watch, but he somehow gets the job done. Every time you see Nikhil. He'll get the job done. He'll he'll put in crosses for you. He'll work hard. Um, but yeah, I, and yeah, uh, Asubhashish Bose probably somebody who can come in and who can do a job. Uh, is it true about Igor's statements about resignation? That's what he said. That if if he doesn't make it to round three, he has said he will leave. So that um, yeah. Whether it's it will happen or not is is a different. That's a different question. He said a lot of things exactly. in the last few years, so therefore, <laughs> uh, uh, you know, um, yeah, I don't know. Let's let's wait and see. I I, yeah. I, I take it with a pinch of salt. Let's put it this way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, Anwar, again, interesting conversation to be had about our midfield three. Um, so let's start with sort of the number six and the number eight. Uh, who do you like? I mean, who do you think Egos team match is going to go with? Um, that's a good question because I think the only fixed point to me is Apuya mm-hmm. and everything else around it is, you know, there could be changes. Um, uh, um, to me, uh, uh, I don't know if Jigson will start. I, I, I don't think Jigson deserves to start. So the question is, uh, do I risk, if I'm, if I'm a little bit more adventurous, do I risk and bring in Suresh and then you know and then ahead of it it depends I think he'll put Sunil back as a as a as a striker um and then the question is does he risk Brandon or not mm, yeah yeah um Anwar, I think the scene that he likes Jigson and he's got a preference towards him 
Um, do you see him starting tomorrow? Uh, Jixon was not, to me, Jixon wasn't good enough. So that's my only concern that I felt against Afghanistan. He's still not there where he needs to be, also from a physical aspect. I didn't think Jixon had a good game for his own standards and, and he needs to do more. Um, so therefore, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's going to be interesting. Um, the attacking midfielder, Anava, because that's that's a topic of conversation. Uh, Sunil Chetri started there uh, in the previous game. Who starts there for you? I mean, who starts there? According to your team, if you're, if you're um, to me, it's Changte and Vikram. Okay, yeah, I think I think uh, if I look at the current club form and and and, and also, you know, Changte has to do a little bit more, but Vikram has shown certain things. But I would like to see those two on the wings, and I would like to see those two uh, inter switching also uh, their wing play with left and right. Okay, that's interesting. So the two wingers, you think? But Anwar, you think Igor will go with that? <laughs> this is this is the the question I think that everybody is asking. Um, does he does he consider Mahesh? Does he consider Liston? I don't know who, who is he's considering. But I would you know and uh, again it seems to be that Vikram seems to be in his good books. So therefore I'm th- thinking uh, Manvir sometimes also gets into his good books, but Manvir also has not had those games. So therefore I would hope you know that uh, you know. Uh, that he does, he does something about it, and then, yeah, yeah I would yeah, Vikram and and uh, Jankte would be my choices. And Brandon in the ten, I think, I presume, for you, uh, with Sunil Chetri ahead. Yeah, yeah. Sunil, Sunil starts. I mean, hundred fiftieth game and all that PR around it. Uh, even though he went to the press conference again today, um, yeah. But let's see. Yep. What about Suresh? I know. I think. There have been there has been a conversation around Suresh. Um, didn't do too badly in the Asian Cup. Hasn't been doing too badly for BFC. Where do you stand with oh, with regards to Suresh? Um, see, if Jixon is fit, Jixon is the number one choice in that because I think Jixon brings a, a different level of physicality just because he's tall and, and and you know a little bit stronger build. I think what what. Suresh in the recent months has sort of evolved and developed to is, is is somewhat of an also not just a six but also he can play as an eight, so that he can be a little bit more attacking, a little bit more enterprising. Um, so that would be an interesting, uh, 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 um, you know. So that would be interesting to see how that that works out. Anwar uh, Amiri uh, is, is apparently going to play his last game tomorrow. Says he goes too much. Got a honor for him. Uh, um, could happen. He's got a few ex-teammates uh, in, 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 on the field tomorrow. So, you never know. Could be. Could happen. If he's playing his last match tomorrow. Um, yeah, that could be happening. Uh, Puyo Suresh is a good combo, says Parmeshwar again. I would love to see that. I really would love to see that. I know I, know I understand the conversation about Jixon and why he is number one. But um, just given the fact that he's still... You can see he's not up to speed yet. Uh, after that lengthy injury. So, I would love to see Apuya and uh, Suresh in the middle of the park. Under 23, is, uh, results are number? Uh, from what I've heard, 1-1. One, one. Okay. So, that's that's that. Um, happy uh, to see the under 23 sort of get a couple of goals in, in during these friendlies. Yeah, I mean, it's 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 a good. I think it's a good result if if you're uh, getting results against Malaysia. Um, I, I I haven't had a look at to be honest into the Malaysian team if they're only playing with local players or if they've also strengthened their under trees with players of origin. Um, so for us, as I said, practice matches, ninety minutes of football, great for these boys. And I don't know where do you stand on Deepak Tangri because I know you said you'd like to you'd like him to come into the midfield and start these games against Afghanistan. Though <clears throat> I, I I wanted to start him away because I thought he was a better option than uh, Jixon. But um, now the question is that the coach needs to change something, and we need to look at our options, how we attack, and how we create chances. I think that's the the challenge in this whole thing. So therefore, that's going to be um, yeah, 
it's it's uh, it's something where we, we we need to be wise that's i think very often my sort of piece of criticism that we're not wise enough sometimes to actually take the right decision to make the right things everybody was asking about hiren guys uh, i i'm not too sure if whether hiren will be able to join us tonight today um i think he's caught up with some work elsewhere so that's that's that on hiren <clears throat> yeah yeah uh yeah I, again completely get that argument for uh, for deepak tangri sort of early on in in the game away but yeah it's going to be interesting anuva what do you think afghanistan are going to try to do different because they've seen this indian team they've seen that this indian team can be sort of gotten at and um, you think they will have much more confidence going into this i think they should have more confidence going into this um i think you know people expected another thrashing after the losses against kuwait and qatar and um, they did they were the better team on the night you know that's the that's the scary part in this whole conversation which a lot of people are forgetting where people are saying you know uh, uh, you know and therefore let's see they were certainly the better team i think on the night it was uh... we just didn't bring anything to the game again we just said again and again but yeah we just yeah we did we didn't uh, we, it, we we on the on the night we were just not good enough and that's i think uh, uh you know that's the that's the problem of the whole situation i think with with uh, what the expectations were and and what we wanted to do uh, um but again on the other side uh you know we need to see a different india tomorrow we need to see a team which wants to win the game which wants to you know uh, have a go um and let's see let's see and that's i hope that they can do something yeah i know again this is so important i think what you were saying ashley westwood said we'll go for the win and seema said nothing which clearly sort of shows the difference in mindset and approach uh, when when it's not coming from the coach itself how hard is it for the players to sort of take it and go into the game Uh, it's very difficult because because you expect uh, 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 it's 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 a difficult one because the coach um, should be giving a positive outset, right? And whatever he says in the press conferences uh, or in generally in the media, if not all, but some of the infos gets back to the players to the team. right and i don't know if the indian team has understood that most of the fans are very very unhappy with the performance uh, in uh, saudi arabia in abba against afghanistan i think that is something i don't know um so so that's why let's see uh, um, so therefore uh, to me um i want a different intent i want a positive outlook we need we need a result tomorrow you know otherwise if we draw tomorrow um i mean forget forget if we're losing but if if we're drawing tomorrow that itself already is a problem i know is it curtains for us if we draw tomorrow as far as qualification for round four is concerned no it's not curtains tomorrow but it it puts certain pressure on us that we you know the advantage that we got against kuwait um by winning away um you know we've we've that from that three point advantage we've lost two points yeah right yeah. Yeah. and if we draw we are theoretically if if i expect that afghanistan lose both their matches to to uh, kuwait um then for us the challenge will be we'll have to beat kuwait at home yeah so therefore for me um tomorrow is as important as as are the matches in june exactly i think that's what i was trying to refer to if we sort of come away with a draw we'll have to beat kuwait at home and uh, with the form we'll be going into that game it it might prove to be quite a little challenging <clears throat> so yeah, uh, Mayank Sala, uh, Mayank Sakre saying we'll win tomorrow. He's a little positive about it. Uh, Igor saying Anwar said we'll play well against Afghanistan. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean some positives coming out of that dressing room. Um, I don't know what have you made of Anwar Ali's comeback because he doesn't look the same uh, Anwar Ali that, that we saw sort of before the injury. 
Um, it's again, I think he wasn't tested too much. We have to be honest about that as well. You know, I mean, even though Afghanistan had their moments, but I think most of the game was all over the pitch. But you know, the game had very, very few chances at both ends, so it's not tested too much. But um, you know, he's got some very important games coming up for Mohan Bagan Super Giant after that. Um, so, you know, and Habas has been working on certain things. So hopefully he'll be fitter uh, going into the June matches. I think that's a bit of a problem with some of the players who've been injured recently, right? That they are not as fit exactly. as they as they should be, need to be for us. Yeah, exactly. I think he's pointing, Amal's pointing that out as well. Um, <laughs> um we are my saying we didn't get time to prepare Igor Stimac's first match against Afghanistan. I mean, these huh, I don't know what to say about these excuses, but it's it's done. I mean, we really have to move on from them, just get the performances and then just do it. I think I think the problem is that people need to understand that this is a situation that is there for every coach, right? It's, you need to know when you're the national team coach of XYZ team, it doesn't matter if you're the coach of the best team in the world. Or if you're the head coach of a national team of the worst team in the world. These FIFA windows are there for all to follow, right? It doesn't matter, let's say, in Europe, if it's France or, or, or Italy. And then you have to go, you know, San Marino or Gibraltar. For them, it's the same rule, you know? And for San Marino, Gibraltar it gets even more tougher because their players are amateurs. And those guys are, you know, they're working in the week, training two, three times a week. And then, you know, they're playing their club matches and then they have to go for international matches. So you have to live with these realities. Right, I as a coach need to know that if I'm coming to India, I will have to work around certain things. I will not get players who are finished products. I have to work on my players. You know, um, so 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 it it doesn't matter to me. Is this where you stand as well? Even if we win six nil, say tomorrow hypothetically, still Steve March has to go. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. yeah, I think it has. If not, yeah. if not now, at least latest in you know in, in after June, it it has to end because it's 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 toxic. You know, that's I think the 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 thing uh, for me. I think that's the most important thing that it need, there need there needs to be a change. It needs to be a positive outlook, and I, I can't have it's 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 that that much of negativity around the Indian team. I think that's the biggest problem that we have at the moment. We have negativity around the AFF, or generally around Indian football. And the Indian team is not giving us any sort of positive vibes, which which could take us in a different direction. Yeah, completely agree. Who's the next coach? Coach will be the sort of question that will be asked. But again, it's just so early because we just don't know what the AFF will do. It does look like so much has got the backing of the federation until these World Cup qualifiers are over. Uh, at least round two fixtures are done. So yeah. Uh, I know, but if you had to choose a coach, any names that you'd like to throw? I would like to see who applies for the job and then see who, who you know, who falls within the budget and within the requirements of the federation at the moment. I don't want to discuss names, to be very honest, because I, I'm sure once once the job is available, we'll have very, very interesting coaches applying for the job. Uh, 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 you know, so therefore, that's my hope that then, you know, if, if the processes are right, which at the moment they aren't, but Hopefully things will change, and then uh, we will be changing the right. Um, and uh, you know, let's see. Big game for Sunil Chetriyanava tomorrow. One fiftieth game um, for the national team. Seems scored. You do you see him scoring? Um, I wish he does. Um, you know, um, I wish Sunil uh, all the best on on that hundred fiftieth match because when I talk about this toxicity. Um, it's it's also around him, you know, and um, he was less than a year still a hero, and on the other side now it looks like that he is, yeah, um, is he hanging around too long and you know destroying his own legacy? So sort of, you know that's the thing um, that is there, and yeah, hopefully he can can get a goal, not only goal tomorrow but lead us to the win tomorrow. And I don't know. I think uh, it, it's it's we're getting close to that period where we start discussing when is the right time for Sunil Chetri to hang his boots. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the question is if it's if it's going to be in the summer. You know, maybe mm-hmm. 
post ISL, post the, the World Cup qualifiers, uh, either ending or continuing. But but to me is um, if 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 um, yes, June June could be uh, you know June could be good uh, for me. Okay, okay, interesting. And um, okay, uh, Parmeshwar is asking a question. When does Simash get the courage to make the hard choice of benching Sunil Chetri? Don't get me wrong; he's always be a legend, good of Indian football. But right now, his presence on the field isn't helping. Um, I mean, you know, the, the point is that the coach has not built. You know, uh, uh, to me. Um, we haven't built the right um, alternatives so far. But um, at some stage, we have to be honest that if this team wants to grow, maybe this this whole shadow of Sunil, as big as Sunil is, uh, uh, um, is, is, is not working. You know, so, so for me is, you know... Um, let him let him have his few moments and then retire him. Uh, Deepak Das asks an interesting question. Don't you think hiring somebody like Peter Karty for the under 19s would be more important than the senior national team? See, we don't have an under 19 team, so that's the first problem. If at all, we have an under 20. Um, and Peter Kratky is a club coach, and I don't see someone like him going in and coaching. Uh, the juniors. So for me, again, I'm not explicitly not saying I don't want to look at coaches who've worked in this setup and youth and all that kind of stuff, be it ISL top, you know, the top coaches as the senior national coach or for the junior set setup. I would look for specific coaches, the right coaches to come in, uh, where most probably we don't even know the name of the coach at the moment. You know, that is, that is something, uh, you know, therefore it's not about someone whose name we know and he's there um, yeah, that's 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 what I feel. Yeah, do together says we can beat Afghanistan. Uh, yep, yeah. another predictions for tomorrow. Well, oh, we come back to the to the same story as the other day, right? Um, the the prop the, the problem the challenge is uh, at the moment is um, you know there, there's a wish and there's a fear, right? Uh, 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 to me, um, I would like us to win two nil, three one. You know, I think that would be that would be good. But um, you know, I don't know. I, I maybe another one one is waiting to be coming or something. I don't know. This is that's why it's very difficult to say at the moment. Yeah, Anwar is saying so. You're, uh, potentially a one all draw. You're saying it's possible, Anwar. And... I think it is possible as well. Uh, Parmeshwar is saying positive 1 0 to India. Um, Igor Sima is saying be realistic and he predicts a nil all draw. Um, I, I think I'm just going to be a little positive and just say 1 0 India because we're playing at home and hopefully the crowd can get the team over the line. Otherwise, yeah, we're looking at a really, really tough period for uh, the boys in the coming months. But yeah, Anubha, anything else to add? With it for tomorrow's game? No, I think again, as I said, I would I would like us to win. I think that's the that's the main thing, right? Um, but looking at the whole scenario, and um, you never know, right? Uh, um, they're saying that you know the stadium will be full. I, I don't know how many tickets have been sold, um, but I think I hope not. But I think that the. Uh, um, that the um, that the events of the last few days might have an impact of how many people actually turn up. From Parvesha saying we're wearing the blue jersey, don't expect a positive result. Um, yeah, it's it's going to be interesting. It's going to be fun, guys. Tomorrow we've got a watch along. Um, please join us from seven pm, um, and we'll we'll do a sort of post match uh, review as well for a bit. And uh, see what see what happened in the game. Go through the highlights and talk about all that stuff. But yeah, it, it, it's an important game despite uh, everything being a little doom and gloom at the moment. It's an important game for India. Hopefully, we can get uh, over the line and get closer to round three of the World Cup qualifiers. Yeah.
Thanks, Arnav. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you, everybody else in the chat as well. Please like and share the video. Subscribe to all the channels. Sports Khabri, Arun Foot, and a Curious Harry. We will be back tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Good night.